What's up guys, Gamer Gen here, and we're playing a new game that just came out called Gears Pop. Um, what I'm gonna do in this video, I'm just gonna go ahead and go over the game. Um, I'm not gonna go over like the mechanics of the game and how it works, like you want to try that out yourself. I'll explain a little bit over it, but I'm mostly gonna cover everything that the game includes um, and the features that it has. So we're gonna go ahead right into the tabs on the bottom left. Obviously, bottom left is a store. Here's where you can buy uh, daily deals with your coins. Uh, you can use your gems to buy certain things, or you can use real-world money to get uh, improvements in the game to obviously help you level up. This tab is your pins. Your pins are essentially your troops or your army composition. Um, for every single time you go into a battle, you have an eight-pin composition of um, army to go into battle, um, and obviously they all have their features they all have their pluses or minuses they all have their counters um, so you, when you build a deck obviously um, you're gonna use a lot a lot of cards um, and trying out a lot of cards to build your deck um, real quick if you guys have played Clash Royale any of you out there that have played Clash Royale it's another really really popular um, mobile game that obviously my YouTube is full of if you played that game before this game is very similar to Clash Royale in the overall um, like theme of it like how it plays so if you play Clash Royale this game is gonna be pretty familiar to you and how it goes so if you don't obviously you have your squad um, up here in the top left um, you can change the name of your squad if you'd like average power cost what that is when you play the game you're gonna have a bar on the bottom um, that's just gonna be ticking the whole time maybe I'll do a battle to show you guys and that is just the average of all your troops combined as you can see each troop is worth a different amount of power um, as you level up you can get more tabs you can just save uh, different army compositions um, so yeah so that's for that part home okay this is obviously your home screen this is where you're gonna be looking at more than anything on the top left you can see my name pop guy Gian. might change it to gamer Gian. I haven't decided yet um, and then the gears are essentially your ranking Obviously, the more wins you get, the higher the gears you go. And then this is a little bit of some stats, uh, my profile, certain troops I use, stuff like that. Then we have this tab um, right here, which is just a news feed, which is probably not going to be that um, important. I mean, game updates, stuff like that right here. You can customize your guy. And on the tab all the way to the right is just, you know, account management, stuff like that. So basically settings. Obviously. We're looking at the main screen. This is versus. This is the PvP arena where you're gonna go one on one against other people, all multiplayer, and that's where you can go up or down in gears according to whether or not you win. Top right, self-explanatory. A win streak box um, that spawns every like five hours after you finish it. So whether you win one or five, it's still gonna be five hours, and you get certain loot from that. Um, every time you win a battle, you're gonna get a crate. That um, fortunately they all clock down, they all time down at the same time, which helps a lot. Um, games like Clash Royale, each crate does its own time, so it takes a lot longer. So you you can level up really really quick in this game. Now there are different attack modes. Uh, boot camp is just playing against a computer and having certain army compositions that you can win certain challenges with. Um, for instance, you know just. Uh, using skill so use clay and charge up that's just one of the characters you gotta use his skill in that battle to get the achievement practice it is what it is um, you're playing against a computer you can practice out your deck um, different kinds of decks um, I've done it and it works a little bit you know you get to see how certain cards uh, play but the computer is really bad so you always wreck them so I mean I suggest you do practice um, and I mean, don't don't go into a practice and think your deck's awesome, and then go into multiplayer and get wrecked. Like, the computer's really easy. It's it's there to just see how the person plays. Horde. This is you have to be in a clan for this, and you just go to um, to uh, you and another clanmate, and you're just going into a horde battle. And there's just constant waves of monsters, and you have to um, fight them off. Kind of like a zombie mode in Call of Duty, but a lot less like waves. Um, but it's it's really really fun. So that's it for the tabs. Um, social is just a clan that you create after you get to level two. You can join a clan or create a clan. Uh, my clan is named War Never Changes. You guys can go ahead and join it. It's, it's uh, no requirements, so just go ahead and jump in if you'd like. Um, and like that, you can play a horde with me or whoever you want to uh, play with. Then there's a block list. 
obviously people you I guess you'd want to block don't want to play with and then an inbox um, where now for the first week you've been getting a reward every single day so that works really well then you have the um, all the way on the right a tab which is daily bounties basically daily challenges to get more rewards and then you have achievements which um, I haven't signed into Xbox Live I don't have an Xbox Live account um, I mean I do it's like 10 years old so I don't remember it but if you do maybe you get some achievements out of it I would assume so um, but um, yeah that's all I know so yeah let me just I'm gonna jump into a battle hopefully we can get a win here and I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of my strategy with my deck and how the game plays out I'll make more videos I'll try to come out with videos uh, every couple of days on this game uh, showing you some attack strategies some different cards some different deck compositions because I know it's a new game so there might not be a lot of content on YouTube so let's go uh, right into battle hopefully I can get that fifth star and I get a really nice win streak box okay so we're gonna go up against the humpty humpy nacho alright uh, as you can see the goal of the game is to take out the three turns um, if you take out one you win so that's good right there so I'm gonna go here Let's go with the Marcus Felix um, all the way in the back. That Grenader is really strong, um, so I want him to go up one more wall. Yeah, then I'm going to run there. Actually, no, let's go a call and then let's just grenade. Oh, actually, don't need to even use a grenade. My Marcus will be able to take him out. I'm going to use a Boomer here um, because I'm going to get my ult really, really soon. And I want to already be prepping um, for the attack. I'll go Reina Diaz. She should one shot him. Oh, and they dropped the turret. Okay, a little early for the turret. Um, but I am taking out some pretty decent damage on the left side. And there is my ult. So I need them to come at me with a little bit of a wave. Okay, there it is. It's going to be on the left side. So um, we're going to defend here. We're going to put a turret of our own. That'll defend. Um, once we take out this Felix, which is really, really strong, actually. Yeah, a Felix is really strong. Turret might go down. Okay, it didn't. So now we're going to go with our super. We have a couple going. Let's go here with Reyna. She should get to the tower. And then hopefully when I get to four power, I'm going to drop a grenade. And hopefully we can get some pretty decent damage off. Surprise. Yeah, let's go grenade right here. I think it'll be a pretty decent grenade. Yeah, Reyna's going to get a shot off on the turret. And the turret might go down. I don't know how much cold da damage is going to do. Oof, really close. So we're in a really tight battle right here. Oh, my Grenader, good shot. Let's go with our own Felix right here. Um, he should take out the shotgun. Yeah, he does. Oh, but Felix takes our Phoenix. Oh, and they take us out. Okay, their super, um, I think, is pretty wasted, to be honest with you. I know I can take out the right side with the grenade, so I'm not stressing it too much. Um, I'm going to go right here. And then I'm going to go super. Just waiting for it, waiting for it, waiting for it. Okay, they went right there. Um, let's go with the turn up here. Let's go with the boomer. And then we're going to go super. That's what I'm talking about right there. Now watch this, guys. So I'm not even worried about this side. I mean, I'll drop the grenade anyways. I dropped the super there. I dropped the grenade. Um, let's go with the arena up top. Oh, arena should take out Felix on one shot. Yeah, really good stuff right there. That shotgun, I'm not too worried about it. And right now we took the lead, so obviously um, we defended well, we did everything well. Let's go ahead with another boomer. And yeah, this is really good right now. We're looking really good. This turret should do absolute work. Um, that grenade is hurting me, but I do have the bomber on the left side as well. So um, I'm looking really good right now. Boomer, uh, one of the new cards I added to my deck, um, he's really been good for me. So I'm about to get my super, so I'm going all in on the left side. He just defended hard. Um, yeah, let's go right here. And then we're going to get the grenade and just splash everything. Boom, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Bomber still doing work. We got onto the tower. They dropped the turn. We're getting a lot of damage off. Let's go right here. We're going to go here with the so soldiers. Um, I think we're in overtime. I'm not sure. Let's go with the bomber. I mean, boomer. It takes out Felix. Let's go with uh, turn to defend. Yeah, that's an easy defense. And then we're going to go with a Felix back here. Uh, and that's going to end up with a tie, guys. So really good battle. We could have won. 
um, and one last wave. But that's essentially the game. I find it extremely fun. It's like Clash Royale. If you guys already played, you can tell. And it's just uh, every troop having their own thing. So that's basically it, guys. That's my beginner's tips and uh, guide. Just explain to you how the game plays, what everything is, so you guys know what you're looking at. That's gonna be it for my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, um, probably gonna post a video of this every couple of days, you know, four days maybe. So you want to sub so you don't miss out. Um, and um, if you guys are into Clash Royale, I'm a huge Clash Royale YouTuber, so uh, follow me as well. Um, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one.